An object database is essentially a three-dimensional structure where, if you can imagine, within this spherical structure, you've got lines going in all directions from all directions, so you can theoretically access any object anywhere within that sphere. An object data model allows distinct referential links between different objects within the object database using either direct pointers or collection objects. A pointer is simply a link between two objects, whereas a collection is essentially a link between a parent object and a child object, where the child object is a collection contained within the parent object. Object databases are actually extremely adept at managing highly complex data sets and access of individual unique objects and or items. They're not very good at accessing groups of items, simply because when you access more than one item in an object database, the tendency is to bounce all over the database. Where relational database is extremely adept at executing reports across sets of data, an object database is extremely good at accessing individual pieces. In fact, the primary reason why object databases have not taken over from relational databases, as relational database technology took over from network and hierarchical database technology in the past, is because object databases are essentially not very good at running reports, which is really the thing that is most commonly required by end users in terms of information coming back out of a database. Reporting. How do we forecast this? What happened in this period of time, etc., etc.? Most essential to businesses are reports.